Hi everybody and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the benefits of using a Wacom drawing tablet for music editing and within your DAW. If you subscribe to my channel you probably know that in 90% of my videos I'm using a Wacom graphic tablet for all the editing work. And today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of using a Wacom tablet with your DAW. Right, so the main point of using a graphic tablet is definitely the ergonomic perspective. Because if you're working with a mouse you have this uh, outstretched uh, unnatural position. And this will strain your neck, your shoulder and your arm. And it will ultimately end up in a tennis elbow, what they call a tennis elbow. But if you're working with a tablet you have this more natural resting position. And if you're working for long hours, this, is, uh, this will definitely pay off. So that's uh, the main reason why I personally prefer to work with a tablet rather than the mouse. And you will also notice that if someone is using a mouse while they're uh, recording their videos, you will hear, be able to hear the, the clicks. But uh, when using the mouse and the touchpad here, it's much more silent. So that's uh, another benefit of using a tablet just for the cause of recording videos. Right, so the second benefit is definitely the multi-touch and that you get a more consistent uh, workflow between your laptop and, uh, and your desktop computer. Because on your laptops you have this uh, multi-touch pad so you can zoom in and zoom out etc. And the same thing is uh, if you grab one of these more recent uh, Wacoms. They also support multi-touch and I will show that here in, in one of the doors. So now we're in Logic Pro X here and you can see that uh, I can easily just zoom in and zoom out here and move with the two fingers to different positions within my song. And of course you could uh, hook up uh, some of these other buttons on, uh, on the Wacom to, uh, to support uh, other key presses. But uh, mainly, personally for, for my work, I'm definitely mostly using these uh, multi-touch features in the editing. Right, so we talked about uh, the benefits of using a Wacom tablet. Now let's talk about the downside, the cons of using a, a tablet. And one of the downsides may be that uh, it's working a bit different between different applications. So you have to look up if it's working correctly with your uh, specific DAW. In Logic Pro X I haven't really found any issues. We can see I can use the pen to control the values here, the parameter values. I can also use the multi-touch if I use three fingers. We can accurately set the values. Now in Ableton there's a little bit of issues here. If we say we want to control the panning here of a track. If we drag with the pen you can see that uh, it's uh, extremely hard to set something else be but uh, the maximum or minimum. And that's because it's uh, working in, in a kind of accelerating way. But uh, of course you can use the multi-touch instead and drag to a specific value. So in a Bitwig uh, Studio One and Logic, this uh, parameter change work uh, correctly when you're, using, when you're using the mouse. As I showed you here in, in Logic, we can drag wherever we want. The same thing for the panning. But with Ableton Live we have this issue that it's uh, kind of accelerating our values. But again, you, you can just skip the mouse and use your, the multi-touch here to set the values. And that's, I think it's for all the, the knobs here within Ableton. If I used to, to try to change the attack here, the same issue. It's uh, kind of accelerating the values. So that can be a little bit annoying if your main door is uh, Ableton Live. Right, and it can also be a little bit hard to set exact parameter values when you're using the pen like this. But you can of course always double click on a parameter value and just type in if you are going for a specific number. 
Right, so that's briefly a little bit about why I personally like to use the Wacom tablet rather than a mouse for my work and music editing. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like and that notification bell so that you get a notice when I release new videos. Right, so if you have any questions on using a Wacom tablet with your door, please write that in the comment section below. What kind of tools do you prefer to work with to enhance your workflow in music editing? Please let me know in the comment section too. Now, let's have a real nice Christmas and have a happy new year and I'll see you in the next one. My name is Matthias, bye.